yes welcome back to the channel my name is daryl uh, you can call me two steps and we're live with the next interview today i'm here with somebody we are the admire from far distance so but i'm happy he's here today patience you know it's good i'm having him. today the conversation i don't have a specific topic we are just going to have a convo and i know you are going to learn and also for for you know i'm here with black sun today i don't know i don't know if you know black sun but some of us we know him and um let's have a conversation <laughs> boss welcome to the channel yeah i'm fine um i i this i know you always dodge this question but let me start with that one no problem when we say black sun who is black sun black sun is is a, um, a spiritual rank it was formed when uh, yahweh defeated the alpha because in the beginning yahweh they came from the dark kingdom that is where the white people call it void okay. uh, in, uh, in human languages okay. Okay. so the time they came there they came to create the heavens so they created the heaven cities and the alpha the king of the void mm -hmm. came from the void to rule the heavens wow. so he enslaved the heavens wow. just like the way the time uh, between the Enkis and the Anunnaki's it happened okay so um, it's my first time hearing this that Yahweh they came from the dark yeah. so, uh, it's surprising to hear that because in Ghana if okay in Africa when yeah. we talk about the dark side, it's, it brings a whole lot of questions and a whole lot of confusion and stuff. Yes, yeah. In Africa, when we say, um, let me define the dark first. Sure. The universe and the stars you see in the multiverse that you see it every day is within this universe you see, the sun, the stars that you see around and all the planets. Yeah. It's within another galaxy that the black hole lead to that one. That one too is inside another galaxy. Mm. But all the entire multiverse mm. is inside the void with the, the, the darkness yeah. empire. But that one, the dark, you can even hold it. It's very thick. That one is the broad and the giant infinite land that no one, um, the human knowledge have not reached there. So it's them who came and formed the lighting cities. God, um, that place is dark because all the beings are there, they can generate their own light. So they don't need human light or the light we use here. So it's them who came to design the light, the sun we see today, planet Earth, Neptune, and all the planets that you see in the universe and the stars. Sometimes when you travel to um, the stars, you see some stones. We have destroyed um, most of the planet, even planet Earth. Currently, we have plans to invade. The aliens are here, but it depends on the choices the humans will make. As you normally hear, there is heat in England. It's a spaceship. For them, they have noticed it. It's an alien spaceship that is already here. But the first problem is the humans define them as aliens. But the, um, it's a name that the humans think they are equalizer to them. They are no aliens, they are gods. Most of the human species we see today were created by those we call them aliens today. Zeus was living in Africa. Yeah. Zeus' mother was called Gaia. She was a black woman. But in her time, she married to the whites. She was a royal in Egypt. And in Egypt, the white people were not allowed to marry the blacks because Yahweh designed the white people to be like um, animals that we can control easily. The white or the black? The white people. Knowledge comes from Africa. True knowledge, everything you see, all the machines you see, it have been done in Egypt a long time ago, before. And so, everything that you see came from Africa a long time ago. The machines, they, they think they are advanced today. Mm -hmm. The Africans brought it to Earth way back, billions of years ago that they have discovered today calling themselves masters of technology. So when we say dark empire is where the all kingdoms in the universe are within. That is what we call it the void. Mm -hmm. But people define dark to be evil. Yes. The spirit beings are not evil. 
like the way all the crimes that happen on earth it happened by the free will of humans that we normally call them the Nazarene call them people with mark of the beast because of the ability of the animal um, category senses and the human senses so when we say people with the mark of the beast uh, that's what the Nazarene address them as witches they use their own free will to do good and do bad so all the evil in this world is done by them but when they do that evil they accuse a supernatural being they have not seen before for the crime they have committed that even led to the the son of the morning star the morning star son came to earth and is it lucifer yeah lucifer have a son he's, he's also conspiring to invade earth as i speak okay yeah okay. so uh, okay you <laughs> the, the information is so deep you know you let's let's take it back a little okay so when we talk of dark side okay mm -hmm. or the void that you, you classify it, why do you think africans or how did it start um i don't know how to put this question how did uh, africans started noticing the dark as evil was africans, was there something that happened that Af africans have not noticed anything <laughs> that is what i'm saying <laughs> is the reason why the prince of hell is angry with them okay. the real origin of africans they are against evil when you go to the ashanti kingdom mm -hmm. or say to two men yeah, they have a riddle a parable that they say that the proverb that they say um, the one who wants something better for the Ashanti kingdom, you don't have to move against the person or destroy the person. Yeah. So, it's the legacy and the real tradition of the Akans. They use the power they have to protect the weak. If you are blessed, they will protect you to become great. The evil that we see today is unknown to the Ashantis. It's down her family who brought it here. <laughs> yeah, it's their forefathers. Really? Because Confanochi that you hear his name. Yeah. He was first living there. Or say to two found him there. Confanochi yeah. yeah. he he at his time he was a fallen angel. So he looked like ordinary person. So the time they saw he is gifted, they imprisoned him for no reason. And they wanted to kill him and take their power. So they were thinking of how to take the power for themselves. They were trying many ways, but they didn't work. Osei Tutu also rigged there. And because they saw he would be royal to uh, in the future, they imprisoned him again for no reason. If you trek back to time, the Ashantis went there. They were even angry that why do you arrest someone and put him in the dungeon because he haven't committed any crime. So the two of them met in uh, the dungeon. That time we were buying slaves. And Konfanochi made a prophecy to him there is uh, a kingdom in your family, I'll help you get it. So Asantehine got Konfanochi from the Dankwa family, not a Ukugwa like, like the way they have written it in their books. Yeah. Because they are saying uh, Konfanochi and Ashanti got him from a Ukugwa. No, they got him from the Dankwa family and they build the Ashanti empire with him. So, the real Akans, the real tradition is, if you go to Menshia, they have um, Konfo Brafo, Tano Konfo, they are priests and priestess who protect the um, people from danger. So even if you have a child and your own child, you try to destroy your own child like the way we do here, Konfo Brafo will come and warn you never touch the child again. If you misbehave, he will tell you the open bibiako kotoko yenina bro. You'll be punished. In those days, they will either banish you or they execute you. Mm. It was one of the finest capital crimes in the Ashantis. So evil was unknown to them. The time we even uh, the white people even came here to buy slaves, we tested them. If you put gold there, they will not steal it. You can put your watch, nobody will steal it. So they realized that, so the time they came to England, they were informed the queen that time it was 
think Victoria time. So Victoria, they told Victoria that place we are going. That time when Victoria was very young. Mm. There is no thieves, robbers, rapists. There is sin is not there. Mm. And everybody thought, ah, how can you go to a city? No one is a sinner there. So they came here to watch, to see if it's possible that there are people on earth that you will not get a thief there. If you put your thing there, no one will steal it. They don't harm each other. City of saints on earth. So they came to witness it. Queen Victoria herself came here. That is when they built the Almina Castle where they were buying slaves. So evil was unknown to the Ashantis. So all the evil that we do here, they create it. For instance, let's say they normally accuse the marines, uh, the seafarers, mm -hmm. of getting married to people. It's not true. They are humans. They will come and they have sex with people in their dream. If they think you suspect, if you go to some of the pastors that you want to break through, the pastor will negotiate with the person doing that sex in your dreams mm -hmm. and tell him, oh, don't go in dream again because I've collected money. So go daytime when the person is not asleep. <laughs> and so they, daytime you meet <laughs> the person on the street. Oh, let's say if you are sitting here, they will come and sit on your tie and be having sex with you. Without you knowing. So if, how will you know? You, the only, if, you can only know if you are one of them or you are a spirit. No human have that power to oh. know. Unless it's angel or, or a spirit being. Or oh, you are wicked. That waking is not easy to, to practice Buddhism and become a <laughs> Fine, it's true we have monks. Okay. We were having monks in China, but they were most of them were fallen angels. But okay. it's possible. So are you saying you can practice spiritism without being awakened? Oh you can. You can practice and become awake. But that one you have to become you have to be kind to people those who are against you and those who are around you. You have to go do good only. Okay. It's easy to be do good, yeah. but we have made the word in a way that um, evil is something difficult. Let's say if you go and steal, in your mind, your guilty conscience will tell you you are stealing, yeah. and you feel guilty a thousand times as expensive than a thousand interchanges. Yes. People were making fun of him all over. He feel worried because the Ghana card in his own heart. He knows it's the same card, because I pass him card and empty <laughs> as card. That is inside that card. Yeah. So it's like having a voter's ID uh, that is synchronized with um, a SIM card. Yeah. And they download the system on All it. Information on it. Even the, so far as the SIM card is in, mm -hmm. there is a software that when you buy, it can, you can use it as a biometric everywhere you go in the world. All the credit card you see is the same card that is in, just like your phone SIM card. Yeah, that's true. I have someone in front of Swami Nana, Shipito is a Swami around the commercial bank. He's broke, he's an ICT expert. Even if you give him 15 million, <laughs> he can give you a card, about thousands of them. Wow. He can do it himself. But because of the system, the computer science, uh, the students, we are we don't educate them well. They 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 are, uh, they haven't made any difference on it mm. because it's a SIM card. Yeah. So if you tell me a SIM card that costs one Ghana CD can buy an interchange, hmm. and you think it's highly precious than everything in the country because you deceive them and they don't know, so you think they are foolish. If they find out, they are villagers. If they find out. It's the same card that is inside Ghana card. Mm. <laughs> I think they will beat them. <laughs> the magazine people, they will not throw water, they will stop eating them. <laughs> they think it's something and special, but it's, it's a SIM card, yeah. like your MTM SIM. It's even that is in. So, it's supposed to be biometric. All the insurance card you see, that is how we do it. Mm. SIM card. So, we synchronize the program on it. So, if you have insurance, because it's a SIM card, you have to use it everywhere you go. But because of cruelty, they don't buy um, the good software for it. Mm. Like the way the telecommunication companies are using good software for it. Yeah. They buy the cheapest one. 
So they'll tell you, you can only go to one hospital, you can't go to the rest. But SIM card, you can use it to make calls everywhere you are. Because they have been programmed. Some of them have been linked to the sex light. So because of the system and the way of life that they live, yes means no, no means yes. It have made the city evil. But when we say dark, it got nothing to do with spiritism and spirits. Mm. All the evil on earth is done by the Nazarene called them people with mark of the beast that we call them. Real witches in the ancient day, they were long dead. We hunted them with Merlin, um, General Washington, and many people long time ago. They are no longer exist. Like Sam. Uh, um, you keep saying we. Uh, Black Sun, who are you? The, oh. So that is how it is. <laughs> Black Sun, please. You see, it was it was so hard for me to get a topic for our conversation because mm -hmm. you, you, you the way you 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 talk all around like you understand everything all around. Mm. So getting to know if I get to know where you stand, I might know. Okay, if I go to him with this type of topic, mm. I may get what I want but anything we throw at you you know something about it yeah. and it seems you've been there since time like what about it is uh -huh. um, either the person have been there or not the main critical problem we have here is true I've been working with Pentagon I'm the one in charge of the classified military organization with the forces from other world when we, that they call them aliens we have a classified collaboration with them, the military, Russia, France, England, China, Japan, most of the countries. Um, India too is also part, many, many countries. For India, they are late in life than Ghana because with the time we write, India was superpower. They are still standing still, just like Egypt. So they are fully more, Ghana is a young country. Let's say Ghana is somewhere, the time the slaves come, came here, the time they break from Egypt, let's say, even those in Gabon, the northern people, they came here before the Ashantis. Mm. The Dunkar family was here first, so let's say about 700 years, because the Gans came here about 352 years ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, let's say Ghana, let's say in a row, is about 700 years ago. Okay. So, Blackstone, let me, let me ask you this. Leadership in Africa, Okay, uh, you said it somewhere that it was um, wise men. Mm. Those days, it was wise men used in um, leading people or governing people. You get me? What do you think is wrong? And uh, let let me ask this in a way: What type of system do you think, if the black man or a Ghanaian man who wants to run for president picks up, is going to help the Ghanaian fellow? Or maybe the problem Africa. is <clears throat> the main problem Africa is facing is um, the kind of people we allow them to take power. We give power to evil people, someone we know, the allies. The way they are, the type of life they are killed down quite of lied to people is a normal life Ghanaians live every day. Those who sell in magazine, uh, Doom, in many places, Makola and the rest, mm. when they import their items and bring in it, before they sell it, they have to promise someone and fail the person before they sell it. Mm. So if a politician promise you something and fail you, it's the same system. In the ancient days, okay. for instance, India, if we are contesting leadership and you try to corrupt someone, they will disqualify you because they believe those who are desperate for power don't use, do good with the power they get. That's true. They abuse it. That's true. Good. So here, we hand power over to evil people, it's the witches who control the city and they use the power, it's everywhere, but they use the power for evil. It's not evil like real magic. They hatch conspiracy, form of lies, and they call it evil. Yes means no, no means yes. So if they tell you something and you place your trust in them, 
the moment they notice you have placed your faith and your trust in them, they have to disappoint you because that is the system. But that is not how African people are. That is the ways of a foreign character that we have copied. It's not from the Akans. It's not from the Voltarians. It's not from the Gans. Because the time Kovanochi went to Volta and the Gans and told them, if we don't unite and work properly, there will be a time chief will start selling lands. They begin to make they began to make fun of him. That even the land that you are saying the chiefs can sell it to two people. If someone need a land, we give it to the person for free. free. Yeah. You just come and plead you need a land and we yeah. give it to you. Mm -hmm. It's not for sale. Mm -hmm. We heard you are powerful. So what you are saying in future, chiefs can sell land to ten people and be killing them and become thieves. Nobody believe it in Accra. That time, that was before the Nungwa can, they can't have the war with the Ashantis. That the Nungwa can won. Uh -huh. The war between the Ashantis and the Gans, the Nungwa can won the war. Wow. <clears throat> but because of how corrupt they are, they don't deserve that honor. So it have been, we have hide that yeah. he, um, history. No yeah. yeah, no one knows because they don't deserve it. Because you are overall king who conquered the Ashanti king mm -hmm. and made them escape retreat from battle and you are selling land to 10 people your people are doing it and you are watching them so you can you don't deserve to be powerful but the reason why queen of england will spread the accounts is because we the time the, we came we came here we noticed that there are people who don't steal there are people who don't harm each other mm -hmm. there are people who don't do anything evil so they are noble people a people who don't believe in stealing, people who love each other, they are kind of those days, if you're unwell, the people will collect foodstuffs, uh, they call it Yekoyaye, they collect foodstuffs and they will bring it to you until you are well. Okay. So even that time, even if you get a treasure, you send it straight to the palace. Because you know when you are in trouble, it's the duty of the chief of the Ashantis to help you. Yeah, take care of you. Good. But Black Sun, what is this, what system? Are you going to suggest right now because right now we've moved way forward and there's so much evil there's so much lies in the system people they take advantage of people here and there i want you, you being so much inclined in this knowledge sorry mm -hmm. i want to know if you are to suggest a system or something that is going to help the Ghanaian or the african what are you going to suggest or what are you going to what i also suggest is um they already know the total life they live. Yes means no, no means yes. If you are a liar and you believe a liar like you can do something better for you, that is stupidity because it's a normal life we live here. The main problem in Africa is not Ghana only. Nigeria is 10 times worse than Ghana. Nigeria, the youth were weeping, crying on screen that Buhari have failed us. But they have oil. The Nigeria oil alone can feed the whole of Africa. But um, don't quite keep on blaming Vladimir Putin and Ukraine war. That is because of the war. We, we uh, the fuel prices is high. But we have oil here. COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen is not here. It's a lie. It's a conspiracy. I um, mean, medicine. We call it medical fraud. It's a lie that they are doing. Wow. But. Um, this thing that they say, Ukraine and Russia war. Let's say if Ukraine and Russia have a war and is, um, the fuel prices is high, no problem. You can complain, well, you don't have oil or there is no oil in Africa. Mm -hmm. This is a problem whereby, a situation whereby we get oil in Ghana here. So the oil in Ghana, what are you using it for? But we have foreigners uh, taking the oil. Foreigners are taking it because so you why do you have to let a foreigner come from his country? Because you don't have the machines to, to go and... So Tamayo refinery that and Chroma built, uh -huh. is it for refining urine or toilet? <laughs> These people are foolish to the extent. I don't know why, what, why God, what they have done to God to make them fools like that. Even the gods themselves, they wanted to know the source of their stupidity. Most of them are living in England, the US. For the Americans, they know them. They, change, they keep on changing their names. They have lived in existence for thousands of years. They wanted to find out how can a human being be fully foolish like that? Because you have oil in your country. Mm -hmm. 
you sell it to someone from the west and travel to the west and buy it and bring it back to your country are you mad or even a madman will not do that let's say you have coconut in your house you let someone come from england to buy the coconut to england and you travel all the way overseas to england and buy it back 10 times the price they are doing that because they are corrupt and they lie to people deceive the entire, entire country and parasite them and dream of bringing war to them for them to die because because what i'm trying to say is for instance if a witch parasite your hand and take fortune from your hand and then they have to cut it if they parasite your eye they have to cut it if you rain it in the morning and they parasite it they have to destroy your kidney if they do spiritual marriage with you they have to make you important if they parasite your hair they will shave it if they parasite your leg by using um, sandals for you to wear it spiritually they cut it so indirectly if someone parasites the whole country at the end of the day he'll kill you and if they are working on it to find a way to bring war and kill the innocent people the god they have successfully parasite them he made a promise to you he will give you this give you that he gave you an evidence for you to see he will deliver the promise mm -hmm. because the time they start with the free education everybody trusted them yeah and he assured it, them it came in so fast yeah the free education that they are doing mm -hmm. um dr kwame Nkrumah mm -hmm. was having a plan to make it was 1969 he wanted to make the free education countrywide for everybody to go to school free and he also made a collaboration with the chinese people to make um, africa industrialized economy the moment they heard something better is coming they overthrown him and we are still where we are yeah. the time they overthrown him they took things from his room um things from his room where the information minister offices it was once a cpp office so they took the documents the, the documents the files and the plans and everything in chroma half mm. and they sold this clothes if they find out you are noble they do that to you even me myself they took things in my room and they used it to buy a three bedroom private jet <laughs> they said he parasited and bring war to the wow. country it's bullshit because if someone is from your country and hiding a an organization that you yourself don't believe in it it got nothing to do with you yeah. and you have to know the person can give one single order and the whole country can be wiped out but they don't care because i already want them dead i've parasite them is successful just like the way if you urinate and the parasite that you urine they did damage your kidney yeah. he desperate to find a way to destroy them that people are not wealthy to become i know even in the western countries it's them who control but the western people is not like that they are corrupt but they think about people too yeah. they develop their country the city is nice in russia when you go to cafe food is free it's the time that you spend there that you pay for it so even if they are corrupt you get free food but here they are corrupt to the extent that they don't care they punish the people make them suffer make them starve torture them because how do you have oil the oil in a country you sell it okay okay let's say you don't have oil okay we have some in nigeria mm -hmm. you have ECOWAS. Mm -hmm. that fan club i don't know if it's a fan club or a charity <laughs> hope Black Sun. they are they are foolish than animals all of them they are imbeciles foolish is a lower word imbecile is the right word for them you have a union organization you call it a course yeah that you help each other mm -hmm. they even brought an agenda that they will have a card yeah so if you need oil buy it from nigeria that oil in nigeria what the fuck are you doing for you can use that oil you can get it cheap mm -hmm. you will not use dollars to buy it then you can get it cheap and use it in your country but these people keep on telling lying to their people the dollar rate is high because of the dollar i don't know how foolish they are why do you live in your country and make budget on somebody's country's currency mm -hmm. we are not the only country china the dollar affect them more than ghana but they are living good 
So why do you accuse the dollar for the hardship in your country? All of them, both NDC and MPP, they say that the dollar rate is high. How can the dollar rate affect you? Then why don't ch the Chinese people complain? Go China, we cheat them in the dollar more than every country in on earth. Okay. But they don't complain. Because the problem and the reason why they talk about dollar is is for a sign of excuse. Because um, let's say let me give an example. Let's say you are selling engines. Mm -hmm. You bought it let's say um, hundred dollar per engine and you brought it to Ghana and you sold it. Now you can get engine in about so kind somewhere five thousand. Even the amount that they sell it, they double the price, 10 times the amount. And the reason why they do that is, they believe if the people comes, they will credit it. They will, mark, they will make part payment and the rest they will not pay. So if he bought one engine with an amount of $100, he will sell it to you $3,000. So even if you pay half, he doesn't run loss. And all that behaviors happen because of the witchcraft belief that we have. Yeah. Because we believe if someone is owing you, you don't have to pay all. You have to pay half and cheat the person. Even if they are constructing a road, they will build it to a certain point. They will not complete it 100%. Yeah. Sure. Because they believe if they complete it, someone will cheat each other. That mentality of hunting each other, this person have this, I have to destroy him. Oh, this person is in this station. I have to find a way to make him stay home mm -hmm. so that he will not get a job. They keep on hunting each other and it, holding the country back. So, so, because many, let's say, so many, there's no system that can help us as black people. Oh, there is a system. We have to, we, it's about leadership. We have to find uh, the um, leader. An another Kwame Nkrumah or what? Oh, Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah was not here. There, You know how Kwame Nkrumah came here. He was in um, United States. He was very good. He was a brilliant student there. Yeah. He was studying anthropology, mm -hmm. and they find out that time they made him um, a SIC president in the school. So it was on his family turn to bring someone for them to eat. They are in Africa. They bring noble people. They eat them. So they said, "Okay, who are you bringing?" And I said, "Oh." I have um, a relative in abroad. We have to bring him here and eat him because he don't call anyone. So that time they say, okay, how can we get him here? They say, oh, don't call family, they collaborate with the whites. So we have to get to them. If we get to them, definitely they can bring him. That is when they, uh, they explained to him that um, they will make him a, a party secretary. So they brought him here as a secretary. But the main motive was to eat him. So the time he came here, according to them, they are saying because of the one-party system. No. Before independence, they plot, they planted a bomb in his house in Jamestown, but the bomb couldn't kill him. So they brought him here to kill him because if they don't kill him, they know he can achieve something big. And since then, they was desperate chasing him to find a way to kill him desperately. That is when Nkrumah gave up that he would not follow the Dankwa family again. It's not because he was arrogant and he wanted to stay away from them, but he, he, he noticed they want to kill him, so he wanted to distance himself from them. That independent, they keep on saying big six. Nkrumah wrote a letter to Joseph Stalin. Um, he, the first one was went to England. All the kings in Ashanti, the guys in Ghana, mm -hmm. they form a union and a collaboration with the Dankwa family and they wrote a letter to the queen they don't want it. It's, it was successful. He later forwarded it to the Soviet Union. The time it got to the Soviet Union, to, they tried it. And then Kroma explained himself. He was when he was going to a meeting of of the Soviet Union. He, that time he was going with Hill Selassie, mm. the, the Ethiopian this time. So successfully he got the independent. 
alone. After he got the independent, these people are saying it's big six. Meanwhile, they are the same people who wrote the letter to get the goddamn Soviet Union. They don't want it. Yes. And now they are claiming credit credit for it. Because they, they want to share it. But there is no what happened. They were all the kings was against Nkrumah. That is why he took a name of Sajifo. Because it's the kings who was the chiefs in Ashanti and the kings who were in Ghana who were calling themselves Osaja and uh, those titles because of the way they fought. Mm. Then, if the Dankwa believe, the Dankwa family believe is the big six who fought for independence, then Opim so too can say, I own independence. Because it's the Ashantis who fought the British people a brutal war mm. to a point that um, they even gave up. I know the Ashantis lost the war. God, that time that day, the Ashantis were using magic, so they called Merlin. So the magics were not working again. So the time the general won the war, he told the chief to come and kiss his foot. <laughs> it's a belief of the masons. If you kiss someone's foot, it means yeah, and they perform a rituals or not for the black people to nail forever to them because the Ashanti kingdom. It's young, but it's not a small in kingdom. Yeah. It was an empire. It was going back to Benin, Mali, way back to Egypt. Even the, the Egyptians, some of them were serving ser the Ashantis. But um, the, West, the, the, the Western people, by the aid of Merlin, he's still there. He's working with the royal intelligence. So the Ashantis was defeated, yeah. brutal defeated. They lost, they lost the war totally and they lost so after they lost what happened is um, they surrendered but after they surrendered um, it followed the yas and twa story that they they keep on talking about they took him from here to england because at that time he can uh, yas and twa can bind rope to the uh, branches of the tree and she will lie down and shoot so anytime she shoot, she will move the rope and make you think she's on top of the trees. And because the British people think Africans are stupid, they are always on trees. They keep on shooting on the trees. So he killed two generals of from England. He rose and uh, General Scott, and he was using their head as um, this thing that they put their foot on. The Ashantis have a name for it, a traditional name for it. Yeah. So, the time they found him, they said, a woman, and you have this talent, we are taking you to England. So they were even, that time, Okese was the youngest. We, they were having a younger brother called Okese. Yasan Twa was, he was a very good friend of Yas, but Okese didn't go. So they took her alone, and we even made him her a general there. He aided us in the war against the Indians, a war against many wars, even, um, um, those Arabian people, we enslaved them once, Thailand too. Yas and Tua performed very well in the war okay. and married us, took many kingdoms. Okay. So, so Black Sun, they still have their melon. Where is Yas and Tua? Oh, Yas and Tua is not immortal. She was immortal. So she's still, uh, she, she died. She was injured in battle. She was injured in battle and she didn't go to war again. She grew old. She was immortal. Mm -hmm. The only immortal that we have here, we was having here was Confanoche. But Confanoche, the Ashanti, the time um, Utap and Dragon was doing um, witch hunt, Confanoche wanted to implement some here for it to become a permanent law because he knew in future that witchcraft believes can destroy the country. And because of the good plan he was having, the Asante Henry decided to make him the next Ekan of the Akans because of the power he hold. Because the golden stool that he conjured during raining, when the tender strikes, it will begin to fly. That is why you see it have a rings. Mm -hmm. The time he conjured it, the rings were not there. Mm -hmm. That rings of um, faces that is hanging, it was there to hold it, uh, hold it to the ground. Go without the ring, it will be floating. Yeah. So what happened that time was, 
the the time he conjured the Gordons to and the British people took it. So they, they actually took it? Oh, they took it. They, are, they took it. They took it. It's in England. Wow. So they are, they are kind of wanted to bring make him the main Ashanti king. So that is when um, uh, the Ashanti Hene sent him to become a chief in Agona. But that time, Mampon Hene, Agona is close to Mampon. So Mampon Hene, the Tafo Hene, Bante Mahene, they begin to have conspiracies. And they were. And I confirm not he is not corrupt like the, those chiefs who stole gold from the Ashanti royal treasury. He was a very transparent man. So they started manipulating him. So because he was uncomfortable here, they had a conspiracy he's going to the because they wanted to kill him. They tried several times and lost. They were using rich calf games to kill him. They were putting animals in his mouth, many things. Oh, scorpion, there are some scorpions and snakes. If they get to your mouth, you die. Mm -hmm. So, the time the British people requested, uh, they want him to join his, uh, the military. Because they were worrying him, he joined. And they had a conspiracy, he's going to the land of the dead. It's true, the one Akan went to the land of the dead, but that was Nanakodia. Nanakodia, he's the one who went to the land of the dead. He even returned with the boat. If you are going to the land of the dead, when you go to Egypt, it has been drawn there. We use a boat to cross from the living to the dead. We cross a bridge. Okay, so that story. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that boat, he brought it to Kumau. So for 100 years, nobody died. Nobody gave birth. And he was manipulating to bring peace here so that the country can become a great nation. But he too, they manipulated him. They buried him alive. So, you know, my my what I don't understand: the people with so much talent and spirit. Why do people get to them with their evil thoughts? Why does oh. they don't they don't see it from afar coming? There is a law. The reason why the evil people got access in the ancient days were not like that. In the ancient days, when you blaspheme with a priest, a monk or a prophet from God, the earth will open and you go inside, you die. But later on, wow, it's actually true. God made a law. Jacob, Jacob in the Bible, he exchanged food with um, his father's blessing. It's a lie. Uh, his brother's blessing. And Yahweh got angry. He was very furious to a point that he took the name Jacob was having spiritually from him. And he made a law, these people are foolish. No angel, spirit, fairy, no God should speak to them. Yahweh was very furious and very angry. And before that, in the book of Nazar was making accusations on them. So Yahweh made a straight law. They are not allowed. Nobody should have to talk to them. The law still stands today. So because of that law, Jacob was doing trance and he met an angel and wrestled with the angel. That is why the angel gave Jacob a new name that he's called Israel. So Jacob was named Israel. That is when the angels began to speak to him. So the time he went to compensate his brother, Yahweh made him an emperor. But they were manipulating him. The witchcraft believed that they practice here. It's not magic. It's a game. That is why they say it's a juma uh, They say it's a trap. When you get to it, um, it traps you. Because, for instance, let's say uh, somebody needs a job here, and the person come here with an application. The relative of the person, if the relative of the person find out, or even if you are working here and you become popular, just like the way they brought Nkrumah here to eat him. A relative from the person, maybe from a village somewhere, can come and say, Oh, this person is my family member. He's working here. He's famous. He's working hard.
Yes, welcome back. And um, you know, we had to go for a short break. Um, still more to CDB. Make sure you like, you share, you subscribe. You do everything possible to make this channel and this content number one. I'm still here with Black Sun, and you know, we are learning a lot. You know, I, I don't even ask a lot of questions because I want you guys to watch and understand that we have a whole like. We as Ghanaians, eh, we did back, eh, we did back, 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 back. There's a lot of things that we need to learn. You know, if we want to be there, we want to be okay in this life. There's a lot of things that we need to pay attention to. So, Black Sam, yeah. my question to you is, um, yeah. you know, when you are going to, when you are being elected as president, true votes or elections, uh, you have to, they have to swear you in. Yeah. They use the Bible, so uh, we always say God is with us, and God we trust, and all those stuff. But currently, this person does the swearing in with the Bible, comes to rulers, and it's we keep going down, down. Poverty keeps increasing, and a whole lot, corruption, and everything is just going. Hey, what? I I want to understand. Is it that? The God that we have, we have, we is, is there a particular God that Ghanaians are supposed to pay attention to and we are not and has forsaken us and placed us in the hands of another God because I believe there are a lot of gods, yes. So I, I want to know what is really happening when it comes to that part of mm, the swearing. In, if you tell me, um, they are just swearing with the Bible is wrong you are right because um they don't believe in the bible either why don't they believe it they don't believe it because the kind of church the real the reality and the transparency of the church we practice here is not about god we use god to cover the church is controlled by the evil people just like the politicians the head pastor of the church, he is not there because of God. He is there because if maybe you want to destroy somebody and you are finding it difficult, they call it contract. It's the duty of the head pastor to help you destroy the person quickly. So the head pastor himself don't believe in God. And the church members too don't believe in God either. It's a system that they use it to lie to the public. So, so far as they don't believe in God, there is no need for them to swear an oath with something that they don't believe in. Mm -hmm. The reason why people say that is they know the pastor is lying. They say God have called me. They know it's a lie. They know um, if they preach the things they say, they copy it from people. The parasiting from people so i know you are parasiting somebody and you are saying god have called you how did god call you we are all going to witchcraft meet doing evil so if you tell me god have called you why is that god didn't call me so they don't believe in it and there are traditional sector to in the ancient days if you're on menses you are not allowed to go to rivers mm -hmm. even yeah by this time, every river has become um, a waste dump, a dumping site. They believe there is power in it. So they connect toilet and they dispose refuse and the rest to it, believing it can make the spirit go away. That is their belief. So <clears throat> um, that side too doesn't work. Because the spirit beings. They are against them too. They want them dead. Even the aliens that is in England because of the heat. I can say 90% of the influence was done by the seas and the uh, marine spirits. Because of the way they connect toilets and the rest, they pollute the waters all over the world, not only in Africa. Except the um, countries like um, Russia, England, the white people, they don't do that. But the third world country and the second world countries, that's what they do. They connect toilets to the rivers and the seas and pollute it. So they too want them dead. So as for it, who wants you dead, there is no way he will defend you. He will defend you. And the Christians too, they don't live Christ's life. Uh, they don't 
to become a Christian is not about the power you have, where you believe, either you worship others. It's, it's those who follow the will of God and desires of God. So if, um, like you are, like the Asian accounts, and you have decided not to offend someone, not to destroy someone, to do what is right and what is good, that is what God wants. That is how real Christians are. Christianity is not about going to church. And Islam is not about going to mosques either. But now the Muslims and the Christians, they all do evil. Even in presence of the church, they do it. Yeah. Because they don't believe in God. For the Muslims, it was a duty. The time Prophet Muhammad was there, the people were saying, God know, don't know us. But you are a servant of God. So we want you to lead us so that God will believe us. Just like the Romans. The time um, the prophecy of Nebuchadnezzar was written, the Romans knew after Rome <coughs> are on superpower, very soon stones and clay will mix and the kingdom from heaven will come. So they wanted to save Rome from that danger. That is when they made an obligation with the Nazarene, that you are from heaven. We know you, that you are different. They made obligation with him for more than 500 times. He didn't accept because he want, because of the way the Jewish people were blaspheming him with him, he wanted him, them dead. So he didn't accept. During the days of Claudius, it was successful. We wanted to unite the bloodline to save it. But Claudius intervened. That same witches, because Claudius intervened because he was a wizard. So he exchanged the children he will have in future for fame. So the time he intervened, because he don't have a child, he killed a king and he was uh, um, invading the England, the British people and many kingdoms and accusing the aliens for it. So currently, General George Washington made a deal with the Egyptian gods and the angels. And during the time England is fighting the United States, Merlin opened, there is something we call a Pandora box. It contains all the notorious spirits in the universe. It was given to Pandora, the first woman created by Zeus. The Greek people, they were created by Zeus. The England people were created by Yahweh. The Africans, they came from the heavens. Yeah, we call them sky people. So the Chinese people, all of them, they have people who create, oh, humans were not created by one person. Yes. Uh -huh. So the Africans, most of the Africans, Ra, he did a creation. Some of the black people, mm. when you go to Ethiopia, they look different from, right. yeah. So all the, the Africans who came from the, the Anunnaki's, Ken Anunnaki, he also did creation. And there is a lot of creation. So every creation half is creator. It's not one God who made that creation. But they are now here. They are already here. The Western people, they have images. They are aware. They are here to take over it. But the right thing that we have to do now is to make peace with them. Because some of them do movies that we can fight them. How can you fight someone who came from space 70 billion years ago, 100 billion years ago to teach you how to make clothes, cars. We got no long ago, Adolf Hitler was using Android phone. The time Hitler was in power, he was using computer, Android phone and the rest. Now we are doing some. Mm -hmm. So someone who was flying with a spaceship that can land on the sun for billions of years ago, where do you think he have reached by now? If you can go to space, he's advanced than you. Mm -hmm. So that dream that they keep on saying, humans will fight aliens, I don't know. They use it to entertain people in the form of movies. Yeah. That is when you see humans defeating aliens in war. But that is a movie mentality. It's not real. Because it's the aliens, the Egyptian black people who taught humans how to make clothes, build house, bread. The collaboration we do when we are cooking. Mm -hmm. Someone told me some time ago, how did the Ashanti discover fufu? Mm -hmm. Fufu is an Egyptian food that we mix the soup. It was uh, the aliens who taught humans that you can mix food. It during the... Vegetable, this vegetable. Yeah. Even before the, we came here, 
the white people they were eating fresh meat mm. when they kill them uh, yeah. and about they just do. yeah mm. it's the egyptian people who taught them no you can light fire and you can use a stone to light fire and cook it that one is tasty than the fresh one the red indians even up to date they mm. still do yeah uh, the red Indians, we, they kill an animal, they eat their li liver fresh because it's their tradition. So all the meals, the food you were doing, mixing um, different kind of ingredients to prepare a food, the balance that you eat with the Egyptians and the gods who came from the skies to India, who taught humans how to do that, how to make clothes, how to do wherever they know today, perfumes, everything. So somebody who taught you civilization, yeah. during that time, their spaceship was able to land on the sun. Wow. The sun. On the sun. Yeah. Because the time the blacks were coming to Earth, we, there was a, a, a similar planet that looked like that was looking like Earth, mm -hmm. but um, they misbehaved and Yahweh destroyed the people and the entire planet. That is why when you travel to space, you see form of stones. Um, around there the stones was explosive explosion of planets like earth that they explode so most of them were looking like it even mass it was a green world like this place and the red serpent killed everyone there they too misbehave by earth it belonged to lucifer and lucifer don't pay attention here it's free rent Earth, you can do your creation here nobody will ask about it we have destroyed the people here more than 251 times. Mm. This batch, the current this, uh, invasion that we will do will be, if they will, if they will desire. If we invade them, it will be 252 times. Mm. But thanks to General George Washington, he made agreement with the angels, the gods of Egypt. That is why the symbols of Egypt are there. That is why the classified organization with the class, um, Forces from other world are there. That is why Pentagon pay me huge sum of money. Everybody, <laughs> so George Washington did everything to save humans, sure. but he copied it from the Romans. Even the democracy that you see today, there was one Roman farmer. Mm -hmm. During the Asian, there was a river there and a pool. It was a very nice place. So when we go there, that time Lucretia was the queen. So she will bring people all over, the women, the beautiful women all over everywhere, and he bring them underground there. So the senators will be having sex with them. So one day, someone who was having peace with Rome, he find out that his wife have been, they were using his wife, this one will have sex with her, they toss it to another. That time STDs were not common. So, the time the person saw it, he became a threat, and he killed with Lucretia, and that brought a war. They invade Rome, they invade Rome, and Rome was lost. Yeah. So because Rome was lost, they went to plead that general, that Rome had fallen. They need his help because he was the one who was supposed to be the head king of Rome, but because of the witches' conspiracy, he he chose to farm. So he fought and saved Rome. And after saving Rome, they call him to become emperor again. And he said, you, it was my turn to become emperor. You misbehave with me. You want me to rule again. No. Mm -hmm. And he explained to them, the kingdom of heaven will come. God wants us to practice democracy so that metals and clay can mix, just like the way he predicted in the Bible, Daniel 7. But it's not that thing was copied from the Sumerian. Yeah, the, the, the Sumerian wrote that scriptures mm. way back in the days of the Anunnakis and Egyptian, they too copied it from Egypt and Egyptian too copied it from the sky people. Civil Egypt is a place where I think the whole country needs to be secured because it has a whole lot of history mm. connecting to how... Oh, Egypt we have. Uh, in the ancient days we were using gold and cast iron and silver to build in Egypt. There is an underground city bigger than Ghana in Egypt. The pyramid lead to that city. When you go there, you see a lot of... That is where General George Washington made a deal with the angels. 
So when you go to house, the white house, the ceiling, you will see um, angels. And we, yeah, with yeah, General George, you know, that, that those angels are the angels who fought the Pandora boss spirits, Merlin unleashed. So after we fought, um, the four, um, five thousand archangels died that day, and it, the remains was about seventy six. So we took a picture and video with them. That time there was pictures. You were fine. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> You were, no, you were part. You took the picture also. Uh, so there were videos. Like you were part. You took the picture with them. So there were videos there. <laughs> why do you keep like Black Sun? Why? It's, I don't. Why? Why are you hiding? Oh, there is. So okay, now it's too late for that. Pause from other world. Welcome back and I'm still here with Black Sun and it's getting interesting and interesting. I know you're learning a lot, Charlie. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do and surely uh, I don't know if we are going to do this again, but I wish to do this often, even a series with him so that we can enlighten a lot of people, strengthen their minds to know that it's not just the physical living and Charlie, some things they if you learn, uh, you don't even think about hardship and all those stuff. You know that there's a particular uh, solution that can help you to overcome a lot of things. So, Blackson, um, let me let me try and understand this. Let, let's talk about awakening and spirituality. For me, as a layman, what I got to know is that every human being has something in him or there's this sleeping eye let's say eye they say it's called a third eye also sleeping until it's being open or you are awakened is where you get to see spiritual stuff so when you get to see spiritual stuff you get to you get to see a whole like different type of the world you get to see the world as it is yeah. fine now you are making me understand that spirituality is way different from being a wicked yeah. okay this is the second question too so that you put it in mind I got to know that it's when you are awakened or you are spiritually inclined it's only you that can help me to wake my third eye or to awake my third eye how true is that and how does that also help humanity mm, it's true but to awake third eye that they say the reason why we brought that in here was the eyes we have classifications of eyes mm -hmm. we have um, people with mark of the beast they have animal eye their system is whereby they cover you with shadow animal body so you are part animal part human so they can turn to animals and they are also human so because of the true collaboration they have the eye animal use to see things but that one is the primary that one is not even magic it's animal eye so we can't call it magic and if you can turn to an animal too it's not magic because um, it's a skin shifting beliefs of animals just like the way a snake can remove the skin a new one is, is just like the same but to create a third eye it has been done before because of the law Yahweh made that um, the angels are not allowed to speak to the humans we are not allowed to speak to them or to let them see us you will see them it's like somebody in a tinted glass or um, a sliding door window if the person is inside he can see you clear outside but you outside will not see what is inside mm -hmm. but what you are saying have been done before the first one was done in Athens there was a warlock there um, the witches made him did that kind of eye for one princess he was also a fallen angel so he was having two eyes. One is animal eye and one is angel eye. And he manipulated it. So
so that the witches was not able to see. But they were having issue with him. So he used the cup of life to raise the army of the dead and took the kingdom. So later on, the wise men who came to see Jesus Christ from India, we went there and we stopped him. Again, in Japan, China, we did some for the woman we call her Queen Corona. That they say they did it. She's alive today. She too, um, during the days of the 49, in Japan, we call some people, 49 people who took an emperor. They too, in their time, the king also made us did some to them. By here, the problem we have here is to do that. The law has become straight that uh, to make that possible, the right person alive today who is wealthy is Merlin, the Queen of England, Merlin. I think he's the right person because Merlin is within the royal intelligence. He's working for them, protecting the kingdom. So the time he unleashed the spirits in their Pandora boss, we destroyed it. After the angels killed them, we destroyed the boss. The energy of the boss, part of it are within him. And there is a tablet to manipulate time in Egypt is with him. There are some relics that the archaeologists were getting from India. He was sending people all over the world. If he joined the power to his immortality, that eye can be great. But um, it depends on the rank of the angel or the person you are doing it for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if a human wants it, that one Yahweh pass it. And the mother of creations, the God, the spirits who created the humans, is them who will pass it. But if human want to, just like with the way we did to the Queen Corona, that one you need the finest. But I don't think Yahweh will allow, so far as he has made the law, he will not change it. I know him. There is no way he will change it. So the right person we need now is Merlin. Merlin is the right person who can. He has been doing that multiple times. He can do it again. So being being able, for instance, you can we hear stories like, okay, and I was I was maybe a pastor, to say, oh, I was I was in the market and I saw someone walking upside down. Um, what they say here or net is the witches' issues. They don't see anything beyond that. They don't see things ahead like the way it looks. That is why the Prince of Hell is angry on how they accuse angels, dwarves, and spirits who have married each other. It was there, but that law was banned somewhere 2019 that no spirit is allowed to marry a human unless you come in a human form. If you come in a human form, the two of you agree. But the spiritual marriage that you see, that you see um, someone saying, people have sex with me in my dream, is done by the witches. And they can do some daytime as we are talking here. For instance, um, there is a, a presenter in the U.S. say the mingos, the flamingos, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> they can do it daytime <laughs> and make it look like that. So it's done by humans. But for fallen angels, and Yahweh want to destroy them all. For them, I understand the argument. Mm. Because they don't understand why. They came from heaven to earth to get their freedom. Because earth is a free planet. They don't want to go to mission and duties and die in war. They haven't done anything. And the witches are doing evil and accusing them every day. So the prince of hell want to invade them before. He think when he killed them, Yahweh will spare them. That is why he also wants the humans dead. He wants to wipe them off. He's more desperate than the aliens. Because he thinks if the aliens strike first, they too will be dead. And that is true. So he too wants to strike first. So now the new world order, this thing, Baden, and the Americans, and the, they have to put it far away. Because there is no time for new world order. The prince of hell wants to strike. That is what, how it was written in the Sumerian tablet. 
The Samaritan tablet don't speak about uh, new wet water. It talk about Prince of Hell invading it, killing the people with mark of the beast, and the angels will come. But George Washington, because of the deal he made with the angels, that was that he drew it on the in the ceiling and the walls, and planted uh, the um, tower of set and many things for people to remember and place the all seen eye on the dollar. He know when the all seen come or I. Yeah, the all seen I can comes. He will rule for seven years. But the seven years, the witches will parasite it. Just like the way they are parasiting Russia, fighting Russia every day, as if the Soviet Union is illegal. They will parasite it. And the Prince of Hell is saying he will not allow them to parasite the last son of Rome and lead it to their death. So if you go to the second term, he will not let you finish. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for instance, let's say if a witch parasite the food and give it to you. Mm -hmm. If you eat all, they will get access. But if you eat a half, they will not get access. Okay. It will not work. So he will say, okay, if I let you rule for the full term, they will parasite it and the angels will come and the fallen angels will die. So within seven years, I will take over and kill them. So that God will be peaceful to us. But we don't have to follow any timetable. We have to follow what General George Washington did to save humans. Just like the Romans did with Christ that he didn't accept. Because at the time Jesus Christ left, he made a promise to the Jewish people. If I go start a war with Rome, I would come back within a period of three months, two months. And take back the kingdom of earth from the Romans. And you people who followed me, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and now he's here. The Nazarene himself is here. Mm. And for him, I don't. They should not go there, because his mind is set to kill them. But we have to concentrate on what General George Washington did. Unite the bloodline. When they come to the parliament, I'm the most influential person in the senate of the heavens in the gods so so the the, the fight and this is this spiritual is it's it a spiritual physical. or is the physical Nazis and the humans war was physical the book of uh, matusala war with there is physical mm. no other time so the one yet to come we'll strike openly we'll take the good people fresh if your car is going we'll take the spaceship is big you can load billions of cars and we will just pick you up we will take the good ones but we kill the rest they will come with like just this is not the first time it has been done it has been done before 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 again again how long have you been on it oh let's say 76 billion well in, in our time we use here but that one is not necessary what is important now mm -hmm. the space program they see different spaceship in coming every day if you are in a play sometimes you see them every day cameras CCT cameras capture them every day you don't have to wait for them to kill you them and they deserve it god they are evil but george washington made it possible that is why he placed the all-seeing eye on the dollar <laughs> that this is the all-seeing eye let's fulfill the all-seeing eye is the property of the united states uh -huh. So there was a time the military, the Pentagon, they told me to leave Ghana and stay there. But I told them, well, oh, I have assignments from the owners of the universe. We have to study the Africans in case if something like that happened again, we will know the source. So, Black, uh, Black Sun, what, now you are here, I'm here, and there's a camera here. We have a lot of people who are going to watch this interview. Mm -hmm. What can we do in our power to spread the news? Are you willing to... Oh, me, I've already sent messages that, that, to them. To but the, let's, let me tell you, um, give you an example. The time Jonah went to Nineveh. Nineveh to God was angry with them to kill them. Just like the way the aliens are here. They too, the spaceships were there. Mm -hmm. It had been written in their tablets there. But... Yona was having a mentality just like the way the Nazarene have. Yona said, these people, 
whatever they will do, I'll let them die. So the time he went to Nineveh, he didn't want it, wanted to go. But what he did is, the time he entered the city, he saw two people at the entrance, the city borders, and he told them they were robbing each other. That time, if you are in, in the bush, robbers can attack you in the bush. So the information that he gave, he gave it in the bush. Let's say if you are coming to Ghana, uh, to the border, the bush road. <laughs> he was using a bush road. <laughs> so, Black Sun, what, what, what is your final words? Like, tell us what we, what we need to know and what we have to do as human beings currently. And let's wrap it up. For now, what we have to do now is the countries who have the classified collaborations, the forces from other world collaboration with humans is the number one classified organization on Earth. It has been classified for thousands of years. But now, it's no longer classified. Because of the camera footages we've been getting, the heat that it was written in Revelation that heat will come. In England, you know, there is heat everywhere. We don't have to wait for them to strike. And Putin and Baden issue, they have to put it aside and concentrate on how to complete what General George Washington built to save humans. Because General George Washington knew. The Nazarene want to kill people from the, with the mark of the beast way back from the, way, the days of Rome. And the Romans made agreement with him more than 500 times. He didn't accept. So he copied um, the, the democracy that Washington was doing. He copied it from that Roman general I was talking about. So we have to, and I'm, I have the all-seeing eye, we have to complete the all-seeing eye 